This is a blend extra. A recent survey conducted by the online learning platform OutSchool found that over 60% of parents had reservations about sending their child back to school in the fall. Joining us now to chat about the results of this survey, along with ways to keep kids engaged, is the CEO of OutSchool, Amir Nathu. Hello, Amir. Hi there. It's a pleasure to talk. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. I think, you know, so many parents are struggling with this. Kids are too. They've had difficulty adjusting to the online learning, remote learning of this past spring. And I, I just wonder what feedback you've had from parents as well as students. Well, we've helped hundreds of thousands of families get started with online learning through out school classes. And we've seen, you know, some incredible feedback with families having great experiences at the same time, we also know that many families and many schools are struggling with the sudden shift to um, online learning. We are providing free trainings for schools and teachers into this new form of learning. We have more expertise in this kind of learning than any other organization in the US. And uh, for families, they are using out school classes to plug in the gaps where schools aren't able to offer the same level of service that they normally do. So we are we're very grateful to to be able to help um, at the at these times, and um, you know are excited to help more families going into the fall. I wonder, in your honest opinion, if you think it's possible for kids to develop a love and a desire for learning when it's online. You know, we see this every single day uh, and every hour. We have hundreds of classes starting every single hour, and um, kids are able to have a great experience with online learning and increase their love of learning if that learning is social and it uh, matches their interests. Um, so this isn't online learning that's just, you know, being at home on your own consuming content. It's actually more like an in-person class experience where um, kids are able to learn from each other and, and meet kids from all over the country and all over the world. And then we encourage teachers to get creative and to teach the classes that they always wanted to teach. So they're able to offer classes like Lego engineering um, learn architecture through Minecraft, learn Spanish by singing Taylor Swift songs in Spanish. We have vets <laughs> teaching about cat anatomy. Um, and yeah, these are the kind of topics that get kids really excited. And so that combination of social classes and fun interest-based topics increases kids' love of learning and results in them having just these incredible learning experiences online. Yeah, I saw so many hands-on experiments and things like that there too in the video. Um, I know it's hard to look into the future, but how do you see online learning fitting in to our picture um, as we kind of navigate through this pandemic and maybe once it's over? You know, there was a lot of growth in online learning even before the pandemic because of its ability to give you access to teachers and classes that couldn't possibly be available locally. And so, you know, with the pandemic, we suddenly see incredible growth in online learning. Um, we've seen 30x enrollments over the summer. And um, what I expect to happen, uh, you know, as we head towards hopefully a new normal and a, a vaccine is a hybrid model in K-12 education, where people will go back to in-person classes, but will use a combination of in-person learning with online resources. And so can have the best of both worlds. Um, so I expect online resources such as our school to be used to supplement um, in-person learning going forward. Amir, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. It's great to talk. And you can go to outschool.com to learn more.